your favorite George Steinbrenner story, oh, God. Reggie Jackson. What do you have for me there? George M. Steinbrenner the third. What do you got for me? I have, uh, I, I, I got a couple. And um, George was, was getting on one of our people. And it was it was unnecessary. I feel you know our one of our ticket guys. Okay. And I was like, George, what are you doing? Is she yelling at that guy? He's going to be crying pretty soon. And he says, "You be quiet and let me just yell at him." <laughs> like, okay. That was it. Yeah. yeah. Yes, I shut up. When did, so he he did you get along with him? Uh, I did get along with George. Um, there would be people that his in order to get to the seats, mm -hmm. if you were an owner, you had to go through his office to walk through the past the office and then go out and sit in the Yankee seats that were outside his office. Yes. And the people that would come by were New York people, super wealthy. Mm -hmm. um, and he, he was in a bad mood. He, people would come by and I, he would say, so he, so they could hear him. Mm -hmm. Who are they? And I'd say, well, they're the Oceans. You know, they've been here for like 25 years. Boss, they're going out to sit down. Well, I don't like them coming through here. And he made sure they heard it. There were people, you know, everybody would come in and he'd look and he'd, he made a comment and the same thing. Um, I remember sitting in his office when the season was over. I was talking to him before I went home. And um, I was working as his you know, personal assistant or special mm -hmm. advisor. And our trainer was outside, Gene Monahan. And he was sitting outside when I got there. And I'm there an hour and a half, and he's still outside. And I said, George, you know, Gene Monahan is out, out at the uh, waiting to, to visit with you. He said, he is? I said, yeah, he, he just wants to visit with you and talk about some things before he goes in. He says, have him come in. So Gene's a super guy, tremendous trainer, and he comes in, and, and George goes, Monaghan. <laughs> Reggie, <laughs> is he still with us? <laughs> <laughs> and and I didn't I didn't know what to say. He, he looks at Monahan. He says, "Are you still with us? Are you our, on our staff still?" And mm. after he got over that, you know, they had a conversation. But he would do stuff like that. You met Joe DiMaggio, I imagine, right? Yes. You got a good Joe D story. Well, I mean, was this what is it? Uh, so Joe like, D. Yeah, was with the A's, and um, just having him around it was special. You know, he was just a general like like a. Maze or Bill Russell came in and sat down and you he was sitting on a bench. He didn't say anything to you, but he's just there. Mm -hmm. So he was that kind of an icon. So <clears throat> I see Joe after I'm retired and we're going to an autograph show. And at the time, for autograph shows, Joe got two hundred and fifty thousand or he didn't come. So we're going to an autograph show in Chicago. We're in the same cab. And so a, a beggar comes up to to the, mm -hmm. the cab, and um, the cab driver stops. Joe turns to me and says, get the cabbie, will you, Reggie? I said, mm -hmm. sure. So we go get outside, and we walk by the beggar, and he says, Reggie, give, a, give that guy 20, will you? And I was like, sure. <laughs> you know, I, I, I was going to get about 20 grand. Joe's getting 200, mm -hmm. and I'm tipping the people for him. That's how... So wait a minute, you he, and he, Joe DiMaggio he, were in a he, cab together he, in he, Chicago going to a signing show? Like he just... was uh frugal. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I picked that up. You, 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 you I got have that. to say that. But if Joe DiMaggio that. gets to be frugal, not mm. cheap. Catch the Rich Eisen show every single day on the Roku channel, twelve to three Eastern for free.